Morning everyone, uh, Todd here with RC Ohio. Uh, I thought I'd just share another uh, installment of what's going on with uh, my Spiker kit uh, 3D printed build. Um, I made some progress yesterday. Uh, as you can see I got going on the on the chassis pretty good. And uh, yeah, it's it's looking good. This thing's going together without a problem. Everything lines up great. Um, Ryan has he's he's just pulled out all stops on us. Every piece has bearings. Every wheel's got bearings. Both sides. Uh, every rocker arm has bearings. Everything has bearings where it should. Um, it's pretty amazing. It really is. Uh, so I thought I'd just show you different things, different aspects of it. Um, the strength of this thing is just really absolutely incredibly strong it's just a very strong machine I have no worries that it'll break under being tortured uh, the videos that he shows carrying heavy stuff such as cases of water and everything I see no problem with that at all uh, that's the cab again of course here's the dump bucket again of course Guess I'll go through uh, mounting the cab and the, the dump bucket on it. He's got a pretty ingenious little uh, locking system on it that holds everything on. I really like. It's got these little cam locks. goes around these these screws here and it clips in from the front with these parts these plastic tabs that's one of the tracks that'll go on pretty excited about that part but I'm not gonna jump into it too quick I still have all the drivetrain to do Another one of those clips on this side. It's a real positive lock too. You run the screws in on the hinging mechanism relatively tight. I feel that it'll it'll hold well. So now it's really starting to take shape starting to show what it's going to look like.
Uh, today and tomorrow I'm going to focus on the drivetrain. This is obviously one of the sprockets, drive sprockets for the tracks. Uh, I can't get too far on the on the drivetrain right right just this minute because my motors that I ordered from Horizon are still being shipped. Um, I made the mistake of not looking at the shipping too closely and I recommend anytime you order anything off of eBay or Amazon if it's not prime to make sure that it is not sure post because they in an in an effort to make every everything cheaper they use sure post and I don't really know how it's less expensive because it goes it goes between two or three different shippers to make it to where it's going and it takes forever to get I'll never I don't know I'll, I'll just never use anything that has sure post shipping again and I've said that before but apparently I wasn't paying attention this time uh, when I get the motors I'll get more involved in the in the inner workings of the chassis of the tub and uh, I'll keep everybody posted. I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please subscribe, um, share with anybody. Um, trying my best here. I'll get better as time goes. Uh, thanks a lot. Take care.